Hey, hey, good people. Arthur Morris here. I hope all is well. In this video, we're going to look at simplifying a ratio of multivariate monomials. Uh, and we just want to simplify here. So um, j when you multiply like basis, you add the exponents. When you divide like basis, you subtract the exponents. Now, uh, the problem that we have here in the next problem with these is just going to be the variables raised to the first power. So it makes it a little bit easier to simplify. But I want you to keep in mind your quotient rule for exponents as we move on. It says that if we, are, if we divide like bases, then to simplify this, we subtract the exponents. Okay, so a quick example. If I have x to the, let's say, fourth over x to the understood first, to simplify that, I would subtract the one from the four, which would give us x to the third. Now, if you have just x to the first over x to the first, well, they cancel each other out. Uh, and if you subtract those, you see you get zero. And anything, any base raised to the zero power is understood to be one. So you can just say they cancel each other out and it equals one. So with this problem we have here, uh, we have 54 over six and then w and then x and y over uh, x, six x, y. So the 54 over six, you treat as any uh, normal fraction, you, how you would simplify any other fraction. So we know that 6 will go into 54, 6 will go into 6, and 6 will go into 54. So we're going to simplify that. 6 will go into 6 one time, 6 will go into 54 nine times. But we also have an x in the numerator and an x in the denominator, and a y in the numerator and a y in the, in the denominator. So x to the first in the numerator with an x to the first in our denominator they would cancel each other out. The y to the first in the numerator with the y to the first in the denominator would cancel each other out just for this, uh, just as we sh showed over this rule with this rule over here where we have x over x. They cancel each other out and that equals one. So let's see what we have left. We have nine w all over one, which simply equals nine w. Okay, so the, the quick way, and I, and I know I went through and explained the quotient rule, but the quick way here is just to uh, simplify the fraction, so for us, the numerical por portion of the fraction, and then cancel those like bases out of the numerator and denominator, those like factors, so the x with the x, the y to the y. All right, so let's look at another one. All right, so this one we have 10 over 25, 10xyz uh, over 25yz. So the 10 over the 25, again, we simplify that as we normally would. We find the common factor that will go into both of those numbers. So the biggest common factor, largest common factor uh, for 10 and 25 is 5. 5 is the biggest number that will go into 10 and 25. So we can simplify that. Let's rewrite it first. Let's see, 10 x, y, z. All right, so we know five goes into 10 two times, five goes into 25 five times. And then we also see that we have a y, in our, y to the first in the numerator and a y to the first in the, the, our denominator. Same thing with the z. We have a z to the first in the numerator, z to the first in our denominator. They cancel each other out. So we are left with two x in the numerator, two times x. And in our denominator, we're left with five. So 2 times x over 5. And that's how you would simplify those. All right, good people. I hope you found this video to be helpful. Thank you.